Uh, well, Enbio is, at our heart, I suppose we're a surface modification company. Uh, it's all based around our cold blast technology. I applied for funding in the European Space uh, Agency. And what they wanted to do was um, to try and develop a, a heat shield for the Solar Orbiter space mission, which is going to be a satellite that's going to be the closest man-made object uh, to the sun. So they needed basically a, a black coating to uh, go on their titanium heat shield. So there's a lot of um, parallels between our history and this uh, new, new, new challenge that uh, ESA had to actually coat uh, the heat shield for the solar orbiter. And actually, as I, as I speak now, we're actually coating the titanium foils that are actually going to go on the space satellite. We're actually trying to branch out and be involved in basically any satellite that goes up into space. They're all going to be exposed to the, the radiation effects of the sun and they, they will all need some sort of heat shield. Uh, so we want to basically grow our own business and be able to basically potentially coat any satellite that goes up in, into space. Typically, I usually come in in the mornings. Uh, then usually I might head over to the lab, uh, which is across the way in the uh, engineering building. We might prepare a few samples using our... We have a, a robot over in engineering which we use to coat our samples. I might be keeping an eye on a few um, tests that I have in progress at the moment, kind of taking readings, etc. Kind of sift through the data and see if we have any good results. And that would be a typical kind of work day. I quite like the, the hands-on nature of it. Um, sometimes you do get a bit tired of it, but I don't think I'd be suited to either a desk job where I'm sitting down from 9 to 5 and at a computer all day long. I think I, I do like to get my hands dirty and get stuck in. And For me personally, I think it's the best way to actually learn something is by actually doing it yourself and seeing the results and even making uh, errors yourself. and learning from those. I suppose the biggest challenge would always be kind of starting off from something new and you're learning new experimental techniques. So trying to get those new tests set up and running and trying to iron out all the little quirks in those can be quite challenging and frustrating as well at times. But once you crack it and you get it working and you get a good result, then it's worth it in, in the end. Maths was one of my favourite subjects. Uh, technical drawing, um, I really enjoyed that because it was like no other subject I think I'd ever done uh, before. It was basically drawing on paper, mm -hmm. but um, I kind of liked that to get out of the classroom. Uh, you kind of, again, I suppose you're doing something kind of hands on. Kind of just before I was a teenager, I suppose, I enjoyed making things with my hand. I think I as most engineers are, they kind of they like science fiction and Star Trek and things like that. And I think I wanted to be a special effects designer on uh, Star Trek. Anyway, they'd actually uh, before um, computer generation they used to make the models and all that, and I kind of wanted to do that. I suppose this this career would probably suit somebody say who was interested in like some maths and physics and any science or technology based subjects. So if they're interested in kind of how things work or uh, if they're technically minded and kind of hands-on, I think this, this type of career would, uh, would suit them. Mm -hmm.